Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on March 1st, 2021. Welcome everybody to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, looking at world weather, earthquakes, space weather, and as well volcanoes from around the world. Starting out here looking at the sun, 304 angstroms. A lot of departing activity, but looking at a semi-quiet sun. Looking here at the incoming images. Lots of plasma loops incoming. Could be seeing some incoming activity from the backside. And you can see here all of the outgoing activity as the sun produced about three or four small flares. You can see there, pretty sizable one in those last images. Looking here at another light, you can see the large plasma filament stretching across the northern hemisphere right now. Hoping that stabilizes. Looking at another light here, the departing action. And as well, the departing earth facing coronal hole, but we do have another one that is building and it is equatorial. So we're gonna be expecting some more space weather as we had some su surprise space weather last night as we had a KP, G uh, KP index of six last night as we were abruptly interrupted by some space weather and we will be seeing some northern lights tonight and most likely into tomorrow night for most of Canada and as well Europe. But yeah, pretty intense in parts of Western Canada for later tonight. I'm going to see if I can get out there with my drone and get some great footage. Hopefully, this will be my first catch. <laughs> Looking here at Lasco 2 Coronagraph, you can see the spitting uh, flare that took off in the departing position incoming bright star there is mercury looking at our magnetosphere being affected by solar winds right here and we are steady at about 400 kilometers per second schumann resonance for today we did see the spike during the unexpected energy spike last night kp index six and a power of 48 from a very calm few days looking here at earthquakes most recent here, a 4.8 in Bangkulu, Indonesia. So that is a region I've been watching recently as Kra or Anak Krakatoa has been showing some steam. As well, a 4.7 there in Indonesia besides Sinabung. 5.3 as well, a 5.4 Vanuatu. Hawaiian Islands still seeing a lot of minor earthquakes recently. 4.2 there, Alaska, largest in the region. But then look across the United States. We are seeing quite a bit of activity and it's continuing. We've seen it now the last couple days in the updates as well. More action throughout the Central America. Mid-Atlantic Ridge there with a 4.9 and as well Colombia with a 5.1. South America rocking there in Colombia. And then here, Oklahoma City, still dealing with some minor earthquakes. As well, Colorado, Stonewall Gap. Colorado, a 3.4 reported today, March 1st. And as well, all along the California coastline, largest being a 3.5, or sorry, a 3.2 at the Geysers. And as well, a 3.0 Ferndale, California. And as far northward as, what's this, White, Whitehead, Montana. So yes, border with Canada pretty much. And as well, 4.9 there in Iceland that was recorded this morning. 
a lot of earthquakes through Iceland recently. 4.2 Italy, that'd be Mount Etna. As I did produce some videos this morning. Hope you all checked it out. Insane volcanic cloud over Etna raining down ash and brimstone. Looking here at the last seven days for earthquakes, as you can see, across North American plate, it has increased over the last little while. Going to be keeping an eye on the Cascades. South America picking up some pretty deep earthquakes this week. As well, Fiji. It seems all around the planet right now we're starting to get these deeper earthquakes. Mega thrust earthquakes. I really hope we don't see any of those. But we're long overdue through North America. So please stay aware and prepared and be ready. Have a plan. A go bag. What are you going to do during an earthquake? Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes being updated. Uh, Sinabung, Indonesia. Fuego, Guatemala. Sabancaya in Peru. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Pacaya, Guatemala. As well, Ebico in Russia. Dakono, Indonesia. Popo, Mexico. Sangue in Ecuador. Reventador in Ecuador. Era, Etna. Ibu, Rung. So yeah, that's about 13 volcanoes staying updated today. We're going to have to get back into a volcanic activity report. Look forward to that tomorrow. And we'll have a look at how many now are erupting. Observing here, two tropical cyclones to talk about. Tropical cyclone Niran is alive now and named and was going to stall there on the coastline of Queensland. They've already seen flood warnings, parts of North Queensland, but it's going to be heading southeast away from Australia. As well, flooding conditions through Indonesia, Tangara. Tropical cyclone here. Marion is still alive. Going to be heading southward. And then interesting system here moving into the Mediterranean. Low pressure center might be producing a metacane in the long range forecast, but there's still a high pressure ridge that is hanging out over Europe. It might just diminish all moisture incoming up the sea in the five day forecast, which is coming up really soon. Across the United States and uh, Eastern Canada, Newfoundland dealing with the winter storm and as well parts of Quebec as far south as uh, Montreal, Southern Ontario, as well through Ontario, seeing a lot of flurries. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting out here in Calgary, Alberta. As yes, we are now growing to almost 24,000 followers. And I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and watching the videos, liking and commenting. And I'm doing my best right now to get caught up on comments. There's been hundreds, if not thousands. So thank you, everybody. Let's get to the forecast. Five day forecast overlooking Calgary. The temperature roller coaster train will continue as we have that large low pressure system off the coastline bringing in a lot of warm pacific moisture but there are some cool temperatures sneaking up and behind that so i don't think it's going to last forever a lot of people and weather network saying we're going to see a plus 14 next weekend but i don't believe that so five day forecast shows a lot of changes coming and as well rain stretching down bc coastline into oregon later in the week but vancouver and uh, most of the BC mountain range will see a lot of snow as the higher elevations still a lot of cold temperatures across the United States. Colorado low developing here. Nothing major as it scoots into the Gulf and then most likely will track northeastward. We'll see what it collects along its way. Already got quite a major system here affecting parts of eastern Canada and it already affected most of southeastern United States. Lots of tornado warnings popping up last night. Overlooking the Atlantic. Big warm high pressure ridge 
developing there over the equator and as well a cold high pressure ridge here moving into uh, parts of the United Kingdom from Iceland so quite a transition and a uh, extreme trans transition from a very large low pressure system here parts of Eastern Europe and then the high pressure off the coast of Africa and Western Europe but this low pressure system here on the border with Russia is massive and on the other side is a strong cold high pressure ridge moving into China so colder temperatures moving southward gonna bring snow to the Indies uh, that's right the Indies are gonna continue to get snow as well parts of Mongolia and northern Pakistan and Nepal major system here affecting Japan right now and is gonna whip itself into Alaska in the forecast here but going to bring some extreme temperatures and uh, snowfall to parts of northern Japan already seeing some videos come out and then watches that large low pressure system races to Alaska in the five-day forecast and just kind of plants itself there very interesting northern hemisphere right now the polar vortex has split and has been squished and has stretched uh, and has had no real organization this winter it was very strange overlooking Micronesia parts of Papua New Guinea and New Caledonia watch for tropical cyclone Niran to move over there in the coming days but most likely downgraded to a tropical storm as well New Zealand looks like you guys won't see the sun for a few days as you have quite a few systems affecting you and some strong winds at times parts of Western Australia seeing rain move out later in the week and then a dry straight across the continent overlooking Africa only real system affecting you guys is the one that's right in between South Africa and Madagascar right now and it's gonna rip across Madagascar Friday into Saturday and then jet into Antarctica very interesting cyclones that are spinning across the Indian Ocean very interesting high pressure ridge in the Atlantic Ocean very interesting huge low pressure system in the Pacific lots of changes happening folks please stay aware and prepared looking here over South America uh, daily evaporation rains continue but watch for heavier rains through mountainous regions and as well the border with Brazil still later in the week Argentina parts of southern southern parts of Argentina will be seeing some extreme weather I'm gonna leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the major players on the planet thank you all for watching don't forget to hit that like button much love and prayers for humanity stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye now if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world